and welcome back to my channel. So today I just decided that as part of like the vlogmas countdown that I'm doing because I I was vlogging every day but I'm again like some days I don't do much because like I've nothing to do a lot of my friends are work and I'm either not in work until the evening or I'm not in work at all. So I decided that some of my vlogmas countdown will just be videos. Like normal sit down videos to chat with you and stuff like that. So I figured since we're coming to like the end of like 2018 I would like to do a full face makeup using like all the products that I've kind of loved this year so I have a few like enough to do a full face obviously Um, a lot of this is like affordable none of it really is high end I've like maybe one like I think of a highlighter that would be like considered high end the rest of it is like out of like pharmacies like Boots or like some of what I bought on Beauty Bay but again like it's all like really affordable and really easy and really good quality so I'm gonna start off with my foundation I'm not going to prime because there's not really any primers I've been loving this year. I'm not a massive fan of primer. I know that probably sound, makes me sound like a heathen. But the foundation that I've been loving this year, this is the second bottle. is the Milani Conceal and Perfect. Um, I'll just show you there. So it is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer in Creamy Vanilla. And I've been adoring this year and everyone just thinks it's so funny when I take it out because it's such a massive beauty blender. But this is a... You can see there, this is an orange, huge beauty blender by Real Techniques. And I just love it. It's so good for like the whole face. It makes it really, really even and really easy to apply your makeup. So I'm just going to put a few little pumps on top. Three little pumps on top there. And I'm just going to dot, dot, dot and dot. I've just a mirror here, so that's why I'm looking there. And I'm just going to blend that into the skin. I've already dampened this beauty blender. So it's so good. This is the second one of this that I've bought of these beauty blenders. And they're actually not that bad. I got this in Asda when I was up north. And it was, I think it was a tenner. Which isn't that bad, like, considering the size of the thing. Like, I didn't mind. Or oh, £10 or £9. £8 it might have been. Something like that anyways. And this is, that. that's actually the only place I've seen these. I haven't seen them in any other, like, boots or anything. They probably do have them. Um, But yeah, I just got that there. So I'm delighted. And I use it all the time. It's like so quick and easy just to do your foundation. It's so like even. Gives an like even layer. Pure smooths everything out. And that is the foundation. I'm going to take these braces off because Jesus Christ that rattling is going to go through me before the end of this video. I'm just going to take all the Ali, Ali and Al, Alex and Annie's off. I have so many of them. One got broken. I'll show you now. That's actually the last one I'm taking off. So this is one I bought. This is kind of chatty, but still. This is one I bought in Disneyland. So if you can see it there. Oh, the light is reflecting on them off. Well, can you see him? I'll bring him closer. So this is Oswald. And I got him in the character warehouse in Florida. And he fell out of the little thing. He fell out of this. And I gave up like I lost him. He was gone for... I lost him not soon after we came back. So we came back in like the end of... Uh, the, in August... And he, I couldn't find him anywhere. And then like a week ago, I was in the bathroom. And he was just sitting there on the floor. Now bear in mind, like the bathroom has been scrubbed so many times. The floor has been mopped. Everything like your usual clean your bathroom. Never seen him there. And he was just sitting on the floor. So I glued him back in. And now he looks good. I used like super glue to glue him in. And then I put like nail varnish over the back of him. But yeah, isn't he cool? So there's my little Oswald. But yeah, couldn't believe it when I saw him sitting on the floor. Anyway, you didn't need to know that. Moving on. So next I'm going to do is my concealer. And this is one that I've been really loving. This is the Maybelline Brightening Creamy Concealer. I don't know if it's going to focus. So this is the Maybelline... Oh, hold the bear, Shannon. This is the Maybelline Creasy Creamy Concealer in the shade 110 Fair. Uh, and I just put that underneath my eyes. And then a little bit of on the spots where I have spots. So under here. And it's just really brightening. It smooths out real nice. And it's so affordable. I'm going to try and find the prices for everything. And I'll put them on the bottom of the screen as I go through. But this is so affordable. And this I've got a little spot there. I'm going to use a different concealer. I don't use this all the time. And this is not included in my love one. But my skin's been kind of good lately. So I haven't really needed to use a lot of concealer. Um, but just, just today of course. Because I wanted to film a video with some bits. I'm just going to go in with the same beauty blender again. But this side the domed end I suppose. And I'm just going to. Tap, tap, tap. Tap 
and then under the eyes. Remember what you said to me, your drunken love in Tennessee, and we're broken. It's working. I'm about to poke myself in the eye. It's grand. <laughs> Um, yeah, I've just been loving that concealer. See how like nice it is? And now it's all brush under my ass. I'll just something on my face. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been doing vlogmas. I missed you. I say I wasn't feeling well yesterday. I didn't really sleep well the night before because I'm an idiot. So I was out Friday night and then I got home at like say three or half three. Went to bed and got back up at like half nine. And then the next day then... I fell asleep in my ma's and dad's bed at like, I fell asleep at like five and I slept till about seven and then got up and I did my ma's makeup because she was going to her, a Christmas party and then I stayed awake till like half three in the morning because my brother was gone out as well so I robbed his playstation and stayed up till half four in the morning like a psycho. And then I slept at 12, which is, like, so unlike me. And the thing is, as well, I, like, literally struggled to get up at 12 o'clock. Like, I could have easily stayed asleep. And then I went to work, so I wasn't really feeling well yesterday. I felt really, like, not a real person. So, yeah. Sorry, I've just completely skipped that step. So the next thing I'm going to go in with is my Benefit Cabrera. So I bought this in New York, so I've been using it for about... I've been using this since July. Which I know is not a whole year, but it's literally like my favourite eyebrow thing ever. It's my favourite. So, this is, oh shit, <laughs> the Venevig Cabrow in the shade 3. And the only thing that kind of annoys me about this is the little brush inside. I need to get like a good eyebrow brush, but I'm struggling to find one. The thing about the brush, the brush in this is like, it's obviously, this is a travel size and it's not a full size one. I'm going to get a full size one after Christmas because this isn't wasted yet. But this brush just gets round inside the lid. And it's so annoying. And because it's like, I don't know, something about it just, it fills a product and it's so hard to use. Like, I do have to clean it every time. I know you're supposed to clean it every time, I know, I know. But like, you have to like always rub it on a baby wipe first before you use it, no matter what, because something about the bristles just get ruined inside the lid. So we're just going to, I'm so far away from this mirror doing my eyebrow. God bless us. So I'm just going to fill in the eyebrows. in my eyebrows, it's so bad. I'm thinking of getting the microbladed, but I don't know, I'm kind of scared to get it done. Everyone's like, just get them tinted. But it's like, it's not the same. Oh, I can see that, what's happening there now? Now why in real life is that not there, but in the camera it is. There, it's gone. So I just bushy them through. Bushy, bushy, bushy. Bushy, 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 bushy. And so that's my eyebrows done. So the next thing I'm going to go on to, and this palette, like, I bought a couple of palettes this year. I've bought this year, I've bought maybe four or five palettes this year in total. I know that's not, like, a lot compared to how many some people buy, but this is the, it's so old. I have it, like, since the start of the year, but this is the Master Eye Palette from Pennies. It's only €8, Euro and I use this so much. Like, you wouldn't think it, it's falling apart. <laughs> I've dropped it a few times. Like, you wouldn't think there's all the colours there. 
So you wouldn't think like, obviously like I've nothing wrong, I do plenty of makeup all the time, but I have reached for this so many times and then because I have a couple of palettes like I didn't think I would be using it as much when I got, because I got like the Morphe palette and I have the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. Um, I have a couple of others that I have a while so I have a few palettes like and you think you would go for them ones but I use this one so much. The orange in this, see that orange? It's absolutely amazing. Um, so I use this all the time so I'm just going to do a kind of like naturally smoky eye. Um, I didn't really buy any brushes, I'm not going to like show brushes wise because a lot of them I've had a long time. I bought like Morphe brushes this year um, but there's no names in these and I don't know what thing it is so there's no point but it's just the white ones the white brushes some of these are great they're just they like blend so well but i'm just going to do like a little smokyish kind of eye <clears throat> so i'm going to go in with this shade first this one here and i'm just gonna, actually joa i'm gonna move these in Zoom. hi so i'm just going to do transition shade first i'm just going to blend that across the top of the eye Cross the whole light. Do, 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 do. Is everyone excited for Christmas? Because I tell you something, I can't wait. I'm so excited for Christmas. Well, it already like is Christmas to me, but I'm so excited for like everyone to be like off work and in a festive mood. I'm so excited. So I'm just doing little circular back and forward motions just to blend that across the lid. And now I'm going to go in with, this is just a brush that I bought the other day so I actually don't know how well it is. But this is a crease brush by Moda Pro. No idea. And I'm going to go in with that orange shade. So this one here. That orange shade there. Tap, tap, tap. And I'm just going to again go over where exactly where the same place that I've done. And we're just going to blend and smoke. Blend and smoke. What's your all all these are New Year's resolutions? Tell me, tell me. I don't know if I have any New Year's resolutions yet. I know one is to be better with money because I'm so bad with money. So so bad with money. Constantly, constantly I'm poor and I waste money on stupid things. So my goal for 2019 is to not do that anymore. I want to travel a lot in 2019 because I love to go on holidays and so that's what I want to do. But can't do that if you're poor. I've already got like one trip booked for the end of January because it's my birthday. And so... Me, Jen, my mum, my dad, and my brother won't come because he's an asshole. But we're going to London. Originally it was only me and Jen, but then my mum and dad were going in anyways. So they were like, oh, we'll just go the same time as you. We were like, kill the bill. Sorry, so I'm just going in with this shade here. Oh, this one here. My brush is in the way. This shade here. And I'm just going to put that into the crease and the outer corner and then just blend it inwards. This is a very like orangey, um, what's that word? Rust, rusty eye, <laughs> um, which is like my fave. It's like my favorite type of eye to do is like anything that's like orangey and smoky. And cool, yeah. So that's me. But yeah, I'm so excited to go away. I'm hoping to go to New York near Christmas next year. Sold again, I think. I don't know, I haven't really decided if I want it or not. Um, like it'll be fun and all, but I don't really know if I want to go. Just because I went last year and I'm like, mm, I'd rather just do a different festival. But I don't know, I'll see, I'll see. A lot of it will depend on what my friends are doing. So I'm just going back in with that first brush and the transition shade and I'm just going to make sure that's all blended in. Just blend, 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 blend. Blend, blah, blah, blend, 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 blend. Now, so that's blended there, and I'm just going to go in with the like whitey shimmery shade in this palette, which is this one here. You can see it, yep, and I'm just going to rub my finger on there. 
I'm just going to press that on to the inner corner. Just press that on like so. Don't worry, I know it looks a bit crazy. I will blend in a minute. So I'm just going to press that on. Doesn't matter if it's a bit messy because we're going to fix it in a minute. So just pack on the eyeshadow. It's so... I love applying trimmers lately with my finger. I've watched a lot of Kathleen Lights and she does it all the time. And then I was like, that works so well. They come out so like pigmented rather than a brush. So I've started doing the same. So we're just going to fix that. Make sure there's no little harsh lines. Now, voila. And then I'm just going to go into the darkest shade in this palette, which is this one here. And I'm just going to get a brush, dip, 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 and just into the outer corner. Oh, I've just put that on my face. Into the outer corner, I just want it a little bit darker. And blend, 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 blend. Blend, blend, blend. And again on the other side. Blend, blend, blend. Just make sure we're even on both sides. Now, next thing I'm going to go, I'm going to zoom back here. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> so the next thing I'm going to go in with is a bronzer. So there's two bronzers I use. I use the butter bronzer. By Physicians Formula and it smells like a holiday. Oh, it's amazing, it's amazing. So that's it there. And I use this first, and I go in with a big brush. This is the Spectrum AO1 brush, so I just go in with this brush and I rub it around and around and around. And I do this just for like the general bronzing of my face, so I'm not like translucent. So we're just going around here and on the five head, and again on the other side. And I just gradually build it up because there's nothing worse than when you go too far and you can't fix it. You're like, oh, that's very dark. So again, just if I had a cheekbones where they'd be. And again on this side. And again on the five head. So see, we've been a little bit more colour in our face now. This side's not as dark. And I just bring it a little bit around the neck and down and down just to give me some like pretend jawline so now I'm going to go in with the other bronzer that I love which is the Hula bronzer this is the travel size Hula bronzer by, bronzer by Benefit and again I bought this in New York I got the Physicians Formula in Ulta when I was in Florida but I got the Hula, Hula bronzer in New York so yeah I'm just going to really lightly do it along the edges here edges like where you would contour kind of to give you a bit of a shape see look at that it just brings me in a little bit and again on this side and then again just up here a bit just to can never be too dark um the only thing about this i adore this absolutely love it but the only thing is it's so pigmented that if like you're a little bit heavy-handed you end up with a big brown line which is, it's not ideal. I'm very white in the middle of my face now that I'm not myself. But it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. I have been obsessed with the, uh, I can never pronounce it. Bellamiante? Bellamiante? I think that's what it is. It's a moisturiser in any ways, but it's a gradual tannin moisturiser. Mm, the smell is okay. It is grand. Like, it doesn't really, it's a, kind of fruity. Um, which is not bad. Like, it's not a bad smell. But you don't smell like tan after you apply it. And it just builds so nice. It looks so natural. I put it on my face and on my arms and stuff because I hate being pale. Um, but it looks so natural and it like washes off perfectly. You don't get left. I get left like you see like here on your arm I get left with like little when I wear normal tan It's like it just goes into my actual skin and you get left with like it looks like you have a skin disease It looks like you have scabies or something, but this doesn't do that. It just washes off so nicely It's lovely. So if I could find the bottle I would show you it's a white Bottle squeegee bottle with a brown lid I will put in a pic. You can layer it to get darker and darker and it doesn't go mucky. It's so so nice so yeah, I just thought I'd add that in here because I love it. <clears throat> so the next thing I'm going to use is my highlighter. Oh, 
highlighter. And you're probably like, Shannon, why have you not got mascara on? I always do that last, but anyways. Um, this is a travel sized, if you, I can hold it. This is a travel sized Becca Opal. And again, I bought this in New York. This is probably the only like really expensive product. It's not even that expensive. I can't remember how much it was. I think it was like 16 euro or something for this small one, which I suppose is kind of expensive, but it's so nice. So, and again, I bought a brush, this brush going, it's just the Morphe M438 brush. And I just, it's just a little type of brush. So I just use this and I'm so like in love with this. It's so nice. So I'm just going to apply. No, can you see that? I don't know if you can see it with this light and it's a bit shit. Yeah, look at that. It's so nice. I'm trying to show you this, but it is. It's so, such a nice highlighter. And again, on this side. It's so pretty. And again, on my nose. On the little tin man. And up here. Just to put a bit of shine in the face, into my face. A little bit on the brow bone. Just everywhere really, because highlighter is life. And last place, on my lips. Now, I'm in love. Now I will do my under eyes. So I'm gonna go back in with the Penny's palette. So this one. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this shade here. And I'm just gonna put that under my into my under eye. I hate doing my under eye. I make such stupid faces when I do it. What's your look? I'll oh, wait my one on that one. I'm just gonna take a smaller brush, and I'm gonna use the dark shade because I love a dark under eye. So this shade. The only thing about this palette that I wish I had is a mirror because I have the bigger version of this and that doesn't have a mirror either. I thought I'd love if it came with a mirror. But again, for eight quid you can't go wrong, like to be honest. No, so the camera angle just changed, I'm sorry, I got a phone call. Uh yeah, so I just did my under eyes. So the eyes are done. They look kind of cool. I like them. Um I'm just gonna go on to mascara, and this is mascara that I adore. I'm gonna zoom in because I feel like you're really far away. <gasps> Hi. Um, so this is the Benefit Bad Girl Gal Bang Mascara and I, this is my second one. I bought a travel size one when I was in New York. I bought a lot of travel size things in New York. Um, so I bought this then when the travel ran out. And yeah, I usually curl. I won't curl my lashes. I'll just put this on. Um, so yeah, I just love this. I'll just put mascara on my top lid. That's great. Disaster. Shut up. Disaster. Oh, the weather at. That is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. I absolutely love this mascara. Not to mention I have it all over my top lid, but look, it's so pretty. It's so good. Look at the difference. I have no eyelashes, like literally lashapetia. Um, but yeah, this makes it look actually okay. I can't do, I'm doing so far away from the mirror, this is so difficult. I used to believe love conquered all That's what I've seen in the movie Come to find out it's not like that at all Ugh. One eye always looks so much nicer than the other And it's so irritating And just my bottom lashes Now, so the last and final thing that I'm going to use that I've been loving, and fair enough it's not out all year, it's not, but I've been loving it, is Jamie Genevieve's lipstick. Look how loved this is. I'm going to die when this wet runs out, but I'm obsessed with it. It's just this gorgeous nude. It's my fave. I'm just going to put on some Penny's lip liner when I find it. So this is just a Penny's lip liner. I don't even think it has a colour name. Toffee. It's called Toffee. So this is what's going on me. I'm just gonna, oh, sorry, I'm out of view. Now. So I just do like this. And around. Oh. 
So yeah, that is the lip liner. Right now, uh, that has gas. And now just the lipstick. It's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. Like so. So yeah, that has been everything that I love this year. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe because I would really appreciate it. And it's Christmas, so you have to. Like really, really think about it. If you were in the Christmas spirit, you would, you would, you would be nice and you would subscribe. So yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. Really hope you like this video. This is everything that I've been loving this year. I will, um, yeah, I hope you like this look. I'm kind of happy with how it turned out. I'm not doing any today, but now I have makeup on, so I might do something. Um, yeah, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas everyone. Salon!